Welcome back to Satisfactory. So good to say that. I think today it's going to be a good day since we're not granting ourselves any parts or recipes or hard drives. We're going to have to do this the old fashioned way, which means we need to research. Research completed. Silica recipe unlocked. New quartz research available. And in order to move on with that, we need silica. 50 silica. I doubt that the... amount that we have on us is good. Oh, I was wrong. I know we're going to need rotors. Just take a second here to get these 50 silica so we can unlock the blade runners. This is why you always check. You never know. Blade Runners unlocked. Equipped to run faster, jump with greater force, and decrease fall damage that might otherwise have lowered your value to fix it. <laughs> Alright. Blade Runners, what do we need? Three rotors, 20 silica. Uh, so that's where we're going to run out of the silica. Any quartz left? 20 rotors. No, wait, three rotors. We can make the rotors. We need a touch more quartz. Hmm. Unfortunately, I know where the quartz is and it's halfway across the map. It's really far away. Let's do this a slightly different way. I'm trying to decide. I guess, I guess I don't have to have my starter base on the universal grid. put in an awesome sink over here and buy the quart or the silica. Special. Awesome sink. Why 
organization. Boy, that's really slow. You know, the DNA coupons are the way to go. I should probably use the DNA coupons. They'll probably go a lot faster. The addition of the awesome sink was just enough to trip the breaker. And ironically, we don't have wire. We'll get them all on a single, single circuit here. And let's see. So the point, the plan is to use the we might have to do some gardening while we're at it It might make sense to just go ahead and all sinks final. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I might, I believe those DNA capsules are actually very powerful.
yeah. Yeah, DNA capsules early game are strong. I'll just buy the silica if I could type. Ooh, it's 200 silica. Yeah, I think that's the way to go here. Thank you for investing into our internal closed economy. Your contributions provide aid to many good fix-it causes. Ah, so much better. Look at that jumping. That's where it's at. Okay, if you're lucky enough to have quartz in abundance near you, then you don't have to do that. You can just buy the stuff. I think, so I definitely want to get into some of this finishes, but I think for us, we know we want stairs. We know we want conveyor halls. I didn't know it was going to be five. I do like the barriers, but we don't need barriers right off the bat. Coffee cup would be funny. Factory cart. Conveyor lift holes would probably be worth our time. Man, this display bundle is expensive. More foundations. Ramp corners. No. I guess the conveyor wall might be our next. Oh, foundations cost two. All right, well, we'll drop this and get this first. All right, so we're going to go over to the planned location of our starter factory here. Life is so much better when you have Blade Runners.
I'm so happy you don't have to manually make stairs anymore. So if I have them give us, uh, we're going to have to be off the grid. We're going to have to make our own grid. The universal grid, the global grid is pointing it in this direction, right? You can see when I hold control. thinking it's closer to something like this. And I'm trying to decide if it should be two or three levels high. Is that the right height? I like this corner. Some minimal Z fighting. Once we get the right texture, I think that'll solve itself. Of course, we haven't unlocked that yet. Look at that water. So good. Okay, wait, don't get distracted by the water. No, I think we need to go one higher at least. And then the question will be, where do we cut this off on this side?
Let's put in one more constructor here. Really trying to limit my spaghetti. Concrete cost us three. That's the one we want, so I should probably just get it. Though I kind of like the coated, but we don't have plastic, so it's going to be a long time before we can do that. Decoration and organization go hand in hand. Fix it HQ custodian, I always say. Use of these customizer features does not guarantee an aesthetically pleasing or user-friendly factory. That's the part that requires knowledge and skill. Thanks. I think you can kind of see where I'm going for now. I think it's coming together. Nice part is now we can spend just the concrete to build this out without having to worry about without having to worry about the metal plates as well. Mm-hmm. 
That was a really short night cycle. I think what I'll do is I'll just start by cutting this overall path. And then we can decide if we want to turn. I might turn. Kind of open this up. Should I go here and then turn and then go that way? It would make it a little less even, but it would give us an opportunity to make use of this water. So what we're doing here is we're just going to square this off. It's just the starter factory, right? second. Uh, give me one second. I'll be right back. It'll just be a moment for you. Okay, we are back. Where should we turn? I think... Somewhere in this area is probably the right, the right call. I'm looking forward to having the uh, materials in the sky. And now that we actually have our Blade Runners, we might be able to explore enough to find the Samor.
we're obviously going to need a lot more. Double our concrete output here. Let's also check and see what the situation is with our awesome sink. Uh-oh. Oh, you can't even see the number of tickets when you don't have power. Interesting. Super annoying, but interesting nonetheless. Okay. You know what? We still don't really have enough concrete. But we'll put in this little bit here. At least we'll get this corner worked out.
Do we include this? Or do we go over it? The problem is, is if we go over it, we run the risk of it still activating. But if we don't, it won't look as cool. I kind of think we need to... We need to close it off. It's 100% annoying. Maybe at some point we'll put a little sign on there. we need to just grab all the all the concrete we can we might even hand craft some so we can totally maximize the amount yeah there's not really a ton of it here Some slow belts. I wonder how much... I mean, I know every time you s get a ticket, the next one becomes more expensive. But we're making a YouTube video here. Two tickets for 500. Ugh, that's not great. Let's clean up some of the uh, the trees in our path. We'll give that guy a little bit of time to keep creating.
Got a limestone in the way here. I guess we'll have to go around it or we'll just have to not use it. Ooh, pure limestone. We can't give that up. We'll have to go around it. I'm going to have to deal with this boar. Where are you? turn away. I guess if I turn away, that means we're going to put the stairs on this side. We'll leave room for Either way, something like that. We'll figure it out. We are going to want to have access to that limestone, though. we're going to deal with this corner is going to be interesting. We'll probably have to do an inverted ramp when we get access to it. All right. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to generate... I'm going to do some mining here, get some limestone, 
get together some concrete so we can finish this build. Obviously, if you don't know, this is going to be <laughs> more than it needs to be. It's just my way. I think it's going to look cool, though, when we're done. But let me see if I can get, you know... a good chunk of concrete going. Plus, we've got a power issue anyway. Well, I was going to cut it, but... Let's see how much concrete we have in here by default. 109. Almost none. All right, let me deal with this. I'll be right back. Okay, we didn't make enough to complete the order, but we got enough to keep going here a little bit. This corner's gonna be a little weird, but I think I like it like that. Oh man, we're out again. That was quick. I mean, this guy won't leave me alone. If I went one more step out, we could 
keep access to that pale berry bush without it clipping. But maybe I don't care, because if we move it out for that one, then we'll just see this other one. And the problem just gets shifted by one. I guess it can be like... A little imperfect plant that grows up through the crack in the concrete. Kind of a nature finds its way scenario. I was thinking maybe there would have been something I could have dropped or trashed that I didn't care about, but I actually want to keep all the stuff that's in my inventory. Unfortunately. We might have to go one more level higher. Let's see, we might not have enough concrete. Yeah, we're just not making enough. Partially because this belt is Mark 1. Give me one more second to make more stuff and then we'll finish up the... Uh, Low reflecting pool. One second. Okay. We're back. I think we're going to go ahead and call it here. And here's the reasoning. I think that uh, we are going to have just a ton of concrete needs. In order to solve that, we need a concrete factory. So I might put that together to help us build the concrete that we need to complete this base. But I think you get the idea of what I'm going for here. And it might also increase the level and make this one level higher. Just so it's one level higher off the water. Otherwise, well, we're definitely going to have to clean these, uh, samples of unknown alien species acquired. It is unclear where on the flora or fauna spectrum it lies, but initial data suggests this might be a nest or an egg. Research the remains in the MAM to establish classification and potential countermeasures. But yeah, this is where we're going to put our starter factory. And it's a bit of a flex, but we're going to build in the desert. We're going to find one of the best local water sources. And then we're going to use it for decoration.
So there you go, our reflecting pool. Next episode, or maybe the one after that, we'll put in a uh, nice concrete factory and then we'll put in the dreaded biomass burner power source. But we'll deal with that in the next episode. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. We'll see you next time.